design for you we're using Madame Glam's flying purple here now I've not left all the um, gel polish layers on you've seen me paint gel polish nails lots and lots of times so I've left a couple in so what I'm going to do is flying purple I'm going to do two tips with this so I'll put it on and then what I do is fly across the nail like that and just take off any excess I want really really thin layers so like I say I do put it on but then I take off any excess these are actually really quite long tips so I'll give it a nice nice coat and then I just take off any excess that makes it nice and neat as well. You get a nice, neat finish. So both of those go in the lamp. Then on nail three, I have glittery purple. Again, Madame Glam. It's got beautiful glittery sheen and it. it's got really fine glittering, but it's also got like a, a metallic sheen. It's, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna do a full coat on nail three. Again, pop that in the lamp. Then I do get the others out and I do give it a second coat, but I don't show you that. So on one of those finished nails with the flying purple, I'm going to come in with this beautiful glitter. I've just showed you the coat there. It's from Rosalind. And I'm going to do a glitter fade from the tip to that cuticle area. So I'll come in with a gel brush. I'm just going to pop it on the tip. And then do that gradual towards the cuticle area. This little bit sped up, I think. I'm sure it is. Most of it's in real time, to be fair. But this little bit I have sped up. So that's that. I will now pop that in the lamp, give that a full cure. Then I'm coming in with this one from Neo Nails. It's a beautiful light purple. And I'm going to do the other two nails two coats of that get nail one out the lamp we're going to top coat that to finish nail one I'm using CJP tap free top gloss finish that off there's that one pop number one in the lamp now we're going to go to this nail, two coats of that beautiful lilac from Neo Nails. On the palette here we have all the colours we've used so far. So we've got the Neo Nails, the two Madame Glam, a little bit of um, white, just a tad, not a lot, and then some of that beautiful glitter in here. And what I'm going to do is I've popped it onto the palette in strips and with an ombre brush I'm just going to go in like this, lift it up and float it onto that nail. Now I haven't mixed the colours at all, so by dragging the ombre brush across that palette and floating it across it will actually mix the colours. You can do this on a nail in any way you like. I just thought it would be nice as a wave down one side. So then I'm going to fill in any gaps that I've got and make sure I'm happy with that cuticle area. Then I'll pop that in the lamp for a double cure. So that's 120 seconds. And the reason I do that is because it, it will be quite thick. So glittery purple on this tip and I'm going to do three. They're not stripes, I'm just going to float it on. I'm actually going to do like a geode nail. So I'm going to float a bit of that glittery purple onto one of those flying purple nails. I come in with a gel brush here, a lint-free wipe at the side with some isopropyl alcohol on that. And what I'm doing is just manoeuvre it into place where I want it before coming in with a glitter arty 
Galaxy Flakes. What I'm going to do is with the tip of my brush just put a few of those flakes into that glittery purple gel polish. So like I said this is going to be my geode nail so I've got a few of those so I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy with the placement of these flakes. Then what I'll do is pop the lid on those and move it out of the way because they get everywhere. Make a right mess. You know how messy I can be. So once I've stopped faffing, I will move everything out of the way. And then with a gel brush, I'm pushing those flakes into that gel polish to make sure they're nice and flat. I'll also make sure I've got the shape that I want using the tip of my gel brush to make sure that pushing the flakes into that gel hasn't ruined the shape that I want for that geode nail for those three pieces that are on there. Pop that in the lamp for a double cure. You need to make sure that the light gets through those flakes and cures that gel polish. Take this one out the lamp. This is done now. What we can do is give this a nice layer of CJP Tap Free Top Gloss. Now this is a beautiful top coat. So what I'll do is pop that all over. And then because the marble on that nail can make it uneven slightly, I will hold it upside down just for about five seconds before putting that in the lamp. Here we have some foil gel guys, so we're going to put a bit of foil on this nail. So I'm just going to pop it on the palette and then come in with the CJP Detailer Brush. This is one of the old ones. It's got a beautiful little tip on the end there. And what I'm going to do is put the foil gel and I'm going to edge this geo nail so each of those pieces of the geode that I've put on the nail with those flakes taking it out the lamp and I'm just gonna go round the edge with this foil gel now I'm just gonna show you this bottom one but I do all three of those and then that needs to go in the lamp for a 60 second cure While that's in the lamp, I'm just going to show you the foil we're going to use. So after 60 seconds, you take that out. And while it's warm, must do it straight away. Don't hang around. We need to get that foil on that nail. So it outlines these geode pieces with beautiful holographic stripes. It looks absolutely amazeballs. I love this. So we're gonna top coat that then guys. Do exactly the same as before. We hold it upside down before we pop it in the lamp. That will even out the gel and help to give a smoother finish. Then we're gonna pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds, which is the curing time for CJP Tap Free. Top gloss. Just showing it you there because it's so pretty. So that one's finished. Now we're going to come in and matte coat this nail. This has got flying purple on it. I'm going to do an abstract design on this. So just giving that a matte top coat, pop that in the lamp, get this one out, this one's finished, beautiful. Right, okay, so matte top coat on that nail and using the foil glue again, we're going to put patches of the foil glue on this nail and then we're going to pop it in the lamp for a full cure. One of the lilac nails, this is the last one, 
we're going to do exactly the same as the flying purple so I'm going to do it in that coat pop that in the lamp using the foils all three we have a purple we have a dot one and we have a holographic one and as it comes out the lamp and that foil gel is nice and warm I'm going to go in with all three foils on this purple nail the flying purple this one's called and where the patches of the foil glue is I'm just going to quickly go over that with these foils so I'm not messing around I'm flicking between all three on off on off while that glue is warm and there we are so we've got the matte background with that shiny top and then with the top gloss I'm going to pop a bit on the palette come in with a small gel brush and I want the the abstract foil to be shiny but I want the nail to be matte so I'm with the top gloss from CJP I'm just gonna quickly go over the patches of the abstract foil that I've done on there Once I've done all of those, I will then pop that in the lamp, get this one out the lamp, that's got the matte top coat on. We're going to do exactly the same, only I've brought out the ombre brush for this one. So I'm putting on the foil glue and I'm going to put it periodically across that nail, get that in the lamp. This one's finished, get this one out, get this one out. It's in, out, in, out. <laughs> I'm going to do exactly the same. Come in with the purple, then the holographic, and then the final one that's got the little dots on. And again, these two are going to be exactly the same. Just making sure I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to come in with that top coat and just make the shiny and protect that foil the patches there that made absolutely no sense did it so the patches of foil that are on that nail I'm going to cover in top gloss so a it protects it for wearability and also make it nice and shiny pop that in the lamp bring that out and then I'm going to do a little bit of nail art just to finish off this abstract design so I'm using a detailer brush here. Um, no, it's not. This is a striping brush. Come in with a detailer brush in a minute. So I'm going to do some nice wavy lines. I'm using artisan gel paint. So I will need to pop this in the lamp and cure it. And what I do is I flick between the two nails because they're exactly the same. So one's in flying purple, which is the darker purple that we did first. And then the second nail is the lilac. They're both exactly the same. The matte, we've got shiny patches of abstract on there. I'm coming in with that striper brush, doing my lines, pop that in the lamp, get the other one out. And then I'm going to do this little leaf design. So here I am with the detailer brush that I mentioned earlier. So I pop the tip on and then I lift it off very very lightly to give that point so I'll pop it on exactly where I want that leaf to be press lift that's all I'm doing pop that in the lamp I'm happy with that if you're happy with it guys get it in the lamp flash cure it that's why I'm flicking between the two press lift that's all I'm doing very very little paint on my brush press lift I'm doing each branch individually and then once I'm happy get it in the lamp flash cure that while that's in the lamp I'm working on the other nail I love this design at the minute and I'm loving the hand painting 
So again, I think I've got one more to do on here, just at the end. Now this is why we flash cure it, because with one of these, I can't remember which one. I leave it in, but I don't. I go wrong, don't like it, whatever it might be. It's not this one, then it must be the purple one. But this is why we flash cure it, because otherwise I would have had to wipe off all of it. There we are. So I do this wrong, I'm not happy with it. But if I'd had to wipe that off, I would have had to wipe the line off as well. But I actually like that, that, that line. So by flash curing it, that's now in place, cured. So I can go in and do it again. So I'm happy. So I continue with that, continue with what I'm doing. Press and lift, that's all I'm doing with very, very little paint on my brush. I literally dip the tip in. Don't need a lot of this. Get that in the lamp, flash cure it. Then I'm gonna come in with a dotting tool and finish the design on this nail and then do exactly the same as I have done before. Pop the lilac into the lamp for a full cure while I work on the purple one. Then guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed this little nail art play today. If you have, please take a moment and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. Until next time, guys. Bye.